In this video, we're going to focus on how we can give this a nice color coding based on the value here, or specifically the threshold value. So we could do it based on zero. If everything is below zero, it should be red, and then everything above would be blue. But of course, we could also do it, for example, in this case here, if the value would be two or higher, it becomes blue, and everything below two will be red. And we can play around with those threshold values, and we can control the colors as well. And it is quite easy because charges have it built in. So let's start to explore this. So let's start to explore how to color the line based on the value in chart.js. So the first thing what I want to do here is to get, of course, our default code. So make sure you go to chart.js3.com, getting started. And this link is also in the description box. Scroll down and then just copy this entire chunk of code here. And then what I want to do is I want to paste this all in there. And once I did this, I'm going to cut out the title, put the title in here, save this refresh and we are. So now we have a bar chart but what i want to do is i want to have a line chart or more specifically we're going to create an area chart so scroll down here and then we're going to say here we have the line chart save that refresh all right so then what i want to do is i want to make these uh, lines width a little bit bigger uh let's scroll down here the border width will be let's make it tension 0 0.4 so the border with the border will be bigger and then we have now a nice elastic item so the next thing what i want to do i want to fill up basically for this we're going to use a very simple tool so what i'm going to say here in the fill we're going to say well by default you could say fill true if you do this save refresh you can see here now it works however what happens it will grab whatever is the uh, background color here so what I want to do now is I want to make these values dependent. And then here for that chart.js has what we call a built-in filler plugin. So what I'm going to do instead of say fill true, I'm going to do the following. I'm going to say here target. And the target will be in our case the origin. Origin, and that would mean the bottom bottom line here. But what I want to do is once we hit this threshold, everything above should be a positive color like green, and everything below should be a negative color like red so let's start to do that one we have this here origin and then we're going to say here below we're going to select the below color and in this case the below color i will just get this a background color here for below is red which is the very first value put that in there let me say here, above and the above item will be the green color here put that in there all right, so let's save that and refresh. And you can see here now it becomes by default green. So how can I solve this? Or at least how can we change that? Or how can we check? Well, let's make this negative here, negative there, and negative here. If I save this, there we are. So now we have this here. And most likely in this case, you can see here, these background colors or the borderline here maybe needs to be adjusted. We could even comment this out if you do that. We get it like this and then what we could do here maybe even better is to make this solid save that there we are so this one here and then uh, basically we have all of these colors here so what i want to do here maybe is as well the border let's set the border color on zero so it will not be transparent so we say your border width equals zero save that so now we have no more, we only have this point radius. So for the point radius, if we want to, we can do something with that. We can say here maybe a color for that, or we just hide the point radius. I'm going to say point radius, I'll just hide them for now. We don't need them, save that. There we are. So now we have this one here, but imagine you want to control this. You have a different threshold. Maybe for you, it's more important to be on the minus five. What we can do then instead of origin, we're going to remove this. We're going to say here, I want to specify a specific value. You can say here minus 5. Save this. Refresh. Now you can see when it's minus 5, it becomes a negative case, and everything above 5 is positive, or everything above minus 5 would be considered as a positive case. Just imagine like a, uh, a refrigerator, it should be to a, to a certain point, and everything below that, it becomes a freezer, so it's too cold, shouldn't be happen. So that would be basically the item and of course we could do this as well with a higher value let's make it 10 refresh there we are and of course 
we could even change the colors here we could get maybe a, a blue color like this everything above will be then a bluish color there you are and this here you can play around a lot so to find this information because maybe you're wondering where can you find it so if you are here on chart yes the official uh, starting point here scroll down here and look at the chart types then this is the problem many people will assume it's a line chart but no it's considered a area chart and with the area chart we have a lot of features here we have all these kind of options and it allows you to control whatever you want with different colors and different features here as you can see so there's a lot here and this is the most important ones to remember you have the target above below and if you want to set a specific value as you can see what we did this is the value item here this here although it shows you a few things some of these are uh, currently well not working or it doesn't work according to how i expect it so i most likely expect that there's something more around it that we need to put in anyway you can dig into this documentation as well it will show you a sample here nicely so if you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to do something like this but then for a bar chart because right now this filler plugin only is applicable for a line chart or area chart so in that case i would highly recommend you to search for this specific video of mine which is how to assign colors to a chart based on value in chart.js and this is only or this is specifically built for a bar chart